Going to be doing a 380 ACP test today, but not from the Taurus TCP. Today, I've got the Glock 42, the brand new little miniature Glock, which is a little bit bigger than the TCP, not tremendously so, but definitely a difference. They're about the same height, but the Glock is about half an inch longer, uh, which is the bad news. The good news is that it's a Glock, which, you know, got a great reputation. I like Glocks. But the other good news is it has an extra half inch of barrel. The TCP and the LCP and the other micro pistols have about a 2.8 inch barrel. This is 3.25 inches. More barrel, give us a little bit more velocity, maybe give us a little bit better terminal performance from 380 ammo. So the first thing we're going to look at today is Precision 1. This is a Hornady XTP round. This was the winner of my 380 ammo quest for the little micro pistols, the most consistent performance through bear gel and through heavy denim cover gel. Uh, it delivered consistent penetration above the 12 inch minimum. So it did everything I asked of it. And so I'm obviously going to try to find out how would this do from the bigger pistol. Does it maintain its excellent performance? So let's go find out. The penetration of the Precision Ones is pretty darn good. It looks okay here, but understand we were affected by bounce back. You can see some of the bounce back tracks here. And that means that the bullet actually penetrated further than what we're seeing. And the rubbery uh, nature of the gel actually caused the bullets to bounce backwards a little bit. So you can see the penetration tracks actually went further. So we're going to correct for that using Charles Schwartz's quantitative ammunition selection mathematical formula, which will put the bullets where they really truly would have penetrated had this been organic ballistic gel. And once we move them into position, you see they look great. Remember we're looking for a minimum of 12 inches of penetration through gel. And what we've got here is the shortest bullet at 12.75, one bullet at 13 inches, two bullets at 13 and a quarter and one at 13 and a half. So very consistent performance, excellent penetration, better than TCP sized expansion. Overall, that's pretty good. It, it really passed this test. The recovered precision ones are textbook perfect. The little Glock 42 delivered these bullets right on target and with excellent expansion for an XTP and excellent penetration for a 380. The expansion isn't massive, it's mild, but it is bigger than we're used to with the little Taurus TCP with a little 2.8 inch barrel. We're getting about 0.43 inches roughly on these, whereas when the exact same round was fired through the Taurus, it got about 0.411 inches, a little bit smaller. So these are displacing a little bit more tissue and they're penetrating about the same. So I have no complaints. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. And for a 380, they did really well. Good news. Uh, the Precision One, which did so well in the TCP, did basically exactly the same job in the Glock 42. The slightly longer barrel gave us a little bit more velocity, which gave us about 5% more expansion. We got a little bit bigger bullets. Penetration was about the same, but uh, hey, that's good because if we had great performance in the TCP, now we've got the same penetration and a slightly bigger bullet in the Glock 42. Whether that's enough to justify the higher expense and the slightly larger size, hey, that's up to you. That's a personal decision. But what I'm here to report is pretty happy the Glock 42 with the right ammo, and this Precision One is an example of the right ammo, can definitely deliver an incapacitating hit. If you do your part and you put the shot where it needs to be, the bullet can do its part. So. Well done Glock 42, well done Precision 1. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, I've got more Glock 42 tests and all sorts of other tests coming up all the time.